What's up guys? Today I'm gonna to be installing my new uh, turbo on my 5.9 Cummins. The turbo I went with is made by BD Diesel and it's uh, their performance howler kit. So essentially it's actually the turbo, the stock turbo that's on a 6.7 Cummins. I think believe 2007 to 12, the same turbo that's on that truck, but they hone it out from 60 millimeters to 64 and a half I believe. It's also a VGT turbo, so you get a whole wiring harness, you get a whole new VGT module and everything to run that on a 5.9 Cummins. I'm super pumped. I can't wait to see how it turns out. Uh, so yeah, you guys just uh, stay with me and uh, we're just gonna do a little vlog putting it in and the main video will be more about uh, the finished product. So here's the turbo. Uh, they, BD Diesel calls it the Screamer Turbo. Uh, basically, like I said, they just bore it out, make it bigger, 64 and a half mil VGT, super cool. And then this is the two-piece manifold that they send with the kit. Here's uh, my VGT controller. Got a bunch of hardware parts, bunch of connectors, you know, all this stuff. So quite a bit of work to do, but it should totally be worth it. I already know I'm gonna be getting some comments saying, why are you putting a VGT turbo? Uh, the fixed geometry turbos are way more reliable. Um, yeah, I guess, because a fixed geometry turbo doesn't have a turbo actuator, and that's usually the most common part that fails on a VGT turbo. But with the VGT turbo, the way they work is, it's a big turbo, but it can act like a small turbo because it has veins in it. So you get way less boost leg because once you're accelerating, it, uh, it closes those veins, your turbo acts small, builds boost real fast, and then it, the veins open up as you build your boost, and then once you're up to maximum boost, you have the full potential of the turbo. So it's better on fuel, uh, you don't have as much turbo leg. Uh, also, those veins, when you decelerate, they close, so you get a built-in exhaust brake as well. Okay, well, I'm just gonna work at getting uh, my old turbo and exhaust manifold out of here, and then we'll start putting the new one in. Okay, well here's the stock turbo. Here's the new uh, BD Screamer turbo. Quite a bit difference. So I'm just gonna do a couple of things first before I drop this one in. I gotta pull a coolant port out because this is a cooled turbo and this one is just oiled. Um, so I'm gonna do that and then I'll uh, start dropping the new one in. Okay, the turbo's in, it's all hooked up. Now, I'm gonna install all this electrical. So, on a 2003, it's not all plug and play. I believe I'm gonna have to splice into a couple wires on my uh, throttle position sensor, especially because mine's a standard transmission. So anyways, I'm just gonna throw the electrical in and see how it goes.
the wiring hooked up. I haven't secured it all yet. It's away from the fan, but stuff like this I still have to mount and my interior is still ripped apart from putting that uh, exhaust brake switch in. Uh, one thing, my downpipe, you see it just is still hanging down there. Uh, this one's a four inch, my new one's a five inch. I didn't really think about that. So I don't have a V-band clamp to mount it to my turbo right now. So I don't have the exhaust on the turbo. It's just shooting right out the back of the turbo. Uh, but yeah, it's Sunday, I can't get one. I'll get a clamp tomorrow and that's when I'll continue the video to drive the truck and see how it is. But for now, we're just gonna fire it up and see if it works and see if that exhaust brake kicks in. All right, it's just idling right now. My girlfriend's in the truck. I'm gonna give her the thumbs up to kick in the exhaust brake. We'll see what happens. I'm so pumped. I can't wait to take this thing for a rip tomorrow. Okay, picked up my new V-band clamp and the timing actually worked out perfectly because look what just finished getting painted uh, over the weekend. This is my custom grill from CTC Fabrication out of BC. Uh, and then I just got my buddies at Inline Paint Body in Saskatoon where I live to uh, paint it up for me. So I better install that for the test drive. Just gonna hook up my exhaust, throw the new grill on, and then we'll see how this turbo performs. Shut off the exhaust brake. I'll just show you what it's like when you cut the exhaust brake out. So the exhaust brake is tied into your uh, coolant temperature sensor. So it will only work when your truck isn't up to temperature. Once you hit your operating temperature, the exhaust brake won't whistle like that at an idle. What that does is it just kind of puts a little bit of a load on the engine uh, to warm your truck up faster. Okay, well everything's good. All my fluids are topped up. It seems to be working properly. I guess the only thing now uh, left to do is to go drive it.
so yeah, see how the exhaust brake kicks in. So I'm in third gear, just gonna let off. <laughs> I did not exaggerate my body forward there. That's actually, that's actually how much it kicked me in. I'll do it again. <laughs> like that's how much it's braking. That's awesome. So obviously I have to stay in a gear to use the exhaust brake because if I put her in neutral, then you know, my engine's not connected to my tranny anymore. So uh, I won't have any stopping power with the exhaust brake. That's why on uh, automatic transmissions, you, it has to lock your torque converter. I believe is how that works. Now I'm just downshifting with the exhaust brake. speed so that's just really bad for your truck so you can't have the exhaust brake on and be on cruise control I think with the 2004 to sevens I think actually if you put the exhaust brake on the cruise control won't work or if you have the exhaust brake off and you're using cruise control as soon as you flip on the exhaust brake I believe it will cut out cruise control what a beautiful evening this is just perfect look at this look at this sunset not a breath of wind birds chirping it's nice we're about to disrupt that with a uh, exhaust brake, so that's cool. But yeah, I'm gonna get my girlfriend to film and I'm gonna do a couple passes with the new turbo, with the exhaust brake and all that stuff, so you'll see. Like right now, the exhaust brake is on, but it's not doing anything because the truck is up to temperature, so it's not gonna kick in at idle. But I'll rev it up and you'll hear it kick in just as uh, the RPMs come down from, the, to, from revving it up. Well, that pretty much does it for this video. I'm very impressed with uh, this BD Diesel Howler kit. It performed super well. It was easy to install. I had no issues. As soon as I fired it up, it worked, so that's great. 
That exhaust brake is awesome. It really puts you forward in your seat. Uh, it's a lot stronger than a lot of exhaust brakes I've felt in other trucks. Uh, but yeah, now I think I'm gonna need a fast fuel pump and some bigger injectors to really make this thing scream. But for now, it's good. Uh, thanks to my lovely girlfriend, Drew, for filming and me throwing her in the box of the truck and all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, if you guys like the video, please like it, subscribe. Uh, if you got questions, ask in the comments. Look me up on Instagram at Dark Iron Diesel. You can shoot me a message. But uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys' support. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.